Okay, so just a quick little video here. Um, you know, got a uh, this is my current TIG torch, and uh, it came originally with I believe it came with my welder. It's a Heliarc. Um, it's a HW17, so it's 17 series torch. Uh, you know, and it's pretty. Uh, it's you know worked well. I've switched the the um, uh, the, it's a gas lens conversion here, so you know it's pretty nice. But it's you know just the hose itself is you know kind of feels like a garden hose almost. It's kind of bulky and stuff, and um, you know it's, my welder is a Lincoln Squareway 175, so that's the uh, it's like the twist lock style adapter. So I wanted to go with a number nine um, TIG torch since. Uh, you know, it seems like most of what I do, you know, a lot of what I've been doing lately is uh, really thin wall, chromoly type stuff. So, um, yeah, I wanted to upgrade to a smaller torch and then something with the, you know, like a flex hose. So, um, anyway, you know, for uh, Christmas, I uh, got a, uh, basically got a uh, little CK Worldwide um, the CK9 torch here so that's basically how everything came you know comes with uh you know that in there and then it's got the uh you know of course the number nine kid torch and you know that this you know feels a lot better as far as the uh um, you know just flexibility it's way way lighter weight and came with a long i guess the long back cap and a short back cap so and then I also got a little, uh, um, little connector adapter there a little, I think it's actually made by CK Worldwide also at least you know, it says so there on the box SL2-35M so anyway this uh, you know, it just kind of comes apart here. There we go. So basically, comes apart, and then I, you know, I guess that I'm just gonna, you know, lock that down here in a bit, and you know, that'll just basically convert it over to where that fits right up into my. Lincoln welder, but yeah, I've kind of wanted to get one of these for a while, you know. Um, get a, definitely help the uh, help my welding and such there. There we go. So yeah, you need to tighten that up in there, but it's, you know, pretty straightforward. All right, so. Go with the short back cap here. A little uh, two percent lanthanated tungsten there. And I got a number eight um, cover there. Alright, yeah, that's uh I like that. You know, it's definitely just seems way way lighter. Just I don't know, it feels like drawing or Drawing with an art pencil now versus you know this big bulky sucker, but you can kind of see the difference there. But you know I still use this one on some heavier duty stuff, but for the you know doing a lot of lightweight uh, you know thin gauge 4130 bike frames and stuff like that. So yeah, I think hook it up here in just a bit and see what it see how it goes, see how it welds up and stuff.
Hooks up real nice. Alright, well there's that little test weld there, and yeah, I uh, I really liked the action of the torch there. Honestly, I think my, my old torch may have had some issues, because yeah, definitely, you know, the other torch had just, uh, you know, the, the, the argon flow just it never really didn't seem as crisp as what's going on here like I couldn't really I don't know I didn't change my regulator or anything but uh, yeah I definitely feel smoother and you know just the overall action is pretty awesome but you know it's also this part right here is kind of a rubber rubbery grip but you know it's usually how I hold it it's kind of up towards the cup but yeah overall I'm really pleased with this and um, really looking forward to doing some other projects and so forth with it so uh, yeah that's kind of my initial review um, you know just kind of a few little things I did to you know switch it over to the you know the twist lock system there so yeah that's basically it uh, for this one and uh, yeah thanks for thanks for checking out this video if you watched it this far